Welcome back. Finally, this hour, a treat for all the book lovers out there. Our next guest is a highly acclaimed author, really a household name, who's written more than 20 books, and every single one has been a New York Times bestseller. We're talking about Nicholas Sparks, who's been moving fans to tears with his heart-wrenching, all-consuming love story since 1996, when the world, of course, first fell in love with the classic the Notebook. Sparks also a screenwriter and producer with nearly half of his novels being adapted for the silver screen. Talk about some stats there. We're so excited to be joined by Nicholas Sparks here in studio. Good morning. Hey, thank you for having me. This is great. This is so fabulous to have you. It is launch day for you for a new book. We've got it right behind, right. over that shoulder, <laughs> Counting Miracles. Counting Miracles. Your newest novel out. You have written so many. We love them all. What is it like to come out with a new one and hand it over to all of us who just eat them up? It's a... Well, it's different now than it used yeah. to be. Right? Yeah. It's, it's, I've been here and done that, right? Of course, yeah. the notebook, it was like, gosh, I wonder if anyone's <laughs> even going to find the notebook oh. in the story. They did. Now, it, it's really <laughs> exciting. You know, this is a novel I'm really proud to have written. It mm. was challenging in a lot of ways. And it's exciting because um, I think people are really going to love the story. I'm excited for them to read it. What can you tell us a little bit about the story? Three people in the story, the, the main pro male protagonist, a guy named Tanner, former military, worked for USAID afterwards. He goes to his little town, Ashboro, in search of who his biological father is, but he's going to be leaving the country soon. Meets a doctor named Caitlin. She's a divorced mother of two, raising a couple of kids. Uh, and, of course, it's a Nicholas Sparks novel, so some things go on there. <laughs> and then there's a, I mean, if I have to tell you what happens, uh, yeah, okay. No. <laughs> then we have the, th the third character, Jasper. He's a little old man, uh, a hermit. He's had a very tragic life. And little by little, these stories intertwine toward mm. the end in a way that I, I'm hopeful surprises people. Clearly, you are so prolific. And, and I think the thread that ties your stories together is we almost feel like we are experiencing the love, the heartache, all that. But where do you get inspiration from? I mean, how do you get these ideas for so many Yeah, stories? every great question. Uh, and sometimes I wonder that myself. <laughs> I will say that after every novel, beginning with the notebook, I finish a novel, it's done, I say, well, that's it. I got no more ideas. That, that's all I have, right? And I had, and of course, I've continued to put them out. Um, they can come from an image. This novel came from an image, an old man injured in the woods with a dog over him. Didn't know who the old man was, who the dog was, how he got injured, but that's how it started. Others, I start with a theme. Others, maybe mm. inspired by family, like uh, A Walk to Remember, was mm. kind of the story of my sister's battle with cancer. So mm. you start with one idea and you just build out until you have a story. God, let's talk about the adaptations that have, have come through this. You've worked with Mandy Moore, you mentioned Walk to Remember, Ryan Reynolds, Rachel McAdams, Miley Cyrus. What is it like to watch one of these books? You know, you're an author, but then you end up on these movie sets with these right. A-listers, and not to mention Broadway. That was a huge milestone for you, right? Yeah, it's yeah. I, I've been very blessed with um, the the producers, the directors, and the cast mm. of all my films, and I think. Uh, well, what's really neat is we're all on the same page always on mm. what do we need to do to make this the best possible film that we can do, even if it differs a little bit from the underlying mm. story. And I'm okay with that change. You are, okay. And, and then you have the actors and they come in and, and they have to stretch themselves because they have to make a lot of different emotions feel very real. And I've just been really impressed with the how much diligence they brought to each of these roles. And this goes across the board. I've been incredibly fortunate. Mm. The best part, by the way, about the Broadway show music written by Ingrid Michaelson is they sell little tiny boxes of Kleenexes, and you yeah. definitely need those little boxes oh. of Kleenexes yeah. by the end, we just like the with the movie. In fact, like we could use a bigger box of Kleenex here. <laughs> We've got like 45 seconds here, but I think it's interesting. You were a pharmaceutical sales rep for years. Yeah. I think there are so many people out there uh. who want to be a great author, who want to be a writer. They are Second afraid act. to make that leap. What what is your advice? You know, um, well, I was selling pharmaceuticals, which means I had, uh, you know, you work, you're, you're off at 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Whenever you're off, you have time in the evening to work, and that's what I did. The, if you want to be a mm. writer, it comes down to really a couple of things. you got to read a lot, and mm. you got to read in a variety of genres, because you got to know how stories work or don't work. And mm -hmm. so try to learn from whatever you read. That's one. And then number two, you got to make time to sit in front of the keyboard or the typewriter or a pad and actually write. And those are the two things. Without mm. those two things, you're not going to be a writer. Oh, Nicholas Sparks, what a treat. Uh, it's so uh, awesome to have you here. Congratulations on the new book. Again, it is out today. Check it out. It's called Counting Miracles Wherever Books Are Sold.
Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.